cat. Oh, this was retweeted by Skrillkill. Don't forget to follow Skrillkill on Twitch and Twitter at Skrillkill. Hey. Yeah. So, um, Cat Williams comes with a fresh new take. <laughs> I've never heard this before. Cat <laughs> 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 Williams says it's time to stop racism. How do you think? Well, yeah, I know you read it, but money. It's always Pay about the us. money. It's about the money. It's all about the money. Racism will stop once reparations are, are is paid. That's true. You think so? Bro, you think if every black person in America got a check, let's just say, let's just say $25,000. Everybody got $25,000. You think they would say white people weren't racist anymore? No, yeah, but they'd give them a clear slate. Oh, so it's new racism. All right, Craig, you cool with me for now. <laughs> Till I run out. First off, once um, once the check is all blown on Jordans and Cadillacs and Hennessy um, and Black and Miles. Don't forget. Blunt wraps. <laughs> Blunt wraps and weed. Fentanyl. And fentanyl. <laughs> and they can't, flip, they can't flip it anymore. Yeah. We fucking bought 300 birds. <laughs> you have nowhere to flip it. It becomes, we ain't get paid no. <laughs> How can you how can you quite put a price on four hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> we need another we need another round. We need another round of reparations. That's crazy. I'm gonna just make up shit. You got two reparations. You didn't remember. They're trying to get reparations right now, goddamn yeah, me. Yeah, for Hamas. I think I think that's what I think that's really why black people don't like Jewish people. They'll call the foreign aid that's going over there. They'll call that reparation. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the reparations they point to is the reparations that Germany gave to to Jewish people, but that was rightfully so. <laughs> yeah, they were murdering. The fuck? They're murdering us too. They, mm, they needed us to. They you know, needed. Yeah, to exactly. Their, their businesses. They it, used our here and they furniture. It was good business to keep slaves. Uh, to keep slaves, yes, in line. Now, of were course, they mistreating but, them? Of course they were. But they're yeah. slavery. Well, slavery, slavery unto itself. Nasty. Yeah. Slavery unto itself is that. But let's 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 not pretend that there isn't like a uh, that it wasn't about business mostly, right? And that there is a there's more of a um, profit in keeping your slaves alive than just killing them. There was no extermination. If anything, they were breeding them. They were trying to make more. Right. Yeah. Listen, bottom line is there's not a black person alive today who can't get up and just go work a job and try to earn a decent living based off of slavery. Not one. Not one. So I don't I don't know what the excuses are. It's always racist within itself. It's always the white man this and the white man that. It's like, bro, god damn, bro, get off your ass, nigga, go do something. That's why I'm telling you guys touch grass. I that's why exactly. (laughs) That's why I believe the whole thing of racist calling somebody. It's just a word designed to stop conversation, and it's worked. It has. Well, we gotta we gotta get past it being racist. Let's hear this nigga who lost to that uh, 13 year old a couple years back. Got his ass whooped. Oh, yeah, we didn't yeah. forget. <laughs> He's uh, wilding out in Target looking for I was about to say, Completely, uh, Target, uh, Target team members uh, completely <laughs> undefeated against this man. Uh, white people, uh, it's now time for black people to get paid reparations for everything that black people have been through in this country. Let's pay those reparations. Look at white people. What? Okay, white people, I know you're wondering, why now? Why, Cap? Why now? Why? Why? Well, here's the thing, white people, and I'm being honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history, but um, it's time. Um, I'm, I'll pay for that. I'll leave a bigger tip. <laughs> um, I'll take care of my kids. Or are you listing off the things that <laughs> people have never, never said, said in history? history. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I, I, got, I got it. Yes, I committed that crime and I take full responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't the white man's fault. Mm, that's a good one. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm lazy. You don't even have to try. It's just it's that easy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, we've never said this in history, but... I fully finished paying off my car. <laughs> <laughs> I have an 800 credit score. <laughs> uh. Here's the thing, white people, and I'm being honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history, but... Uh you want to trade car insurance? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting bad. <laughs> We're running back. We can't stop. Hold on, hold on. There's something special happening right now. I feel it. <laughs> Holy shit. Why? Why? Well, here's the thing, white people, and I'm being honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history, but... Yes, I'll turn the music down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, that's my baby, and I'll take responsibility. <laughs> I'm sorry for being that loud. Why? <laughs> uh. Why? Well, here's the thing, white people, and I'm being honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history. Here's but... that $100 that I borrowed from you last week <laughs> that I promised I'd pay you back. we pay you back promptly this week. This week. <laughs> Yes, I can flip 500 to 5,000. <laughs> and also, here's an extra 20 for, for just loaning it to me. Thank you for being a good friend. Yes, I, have, I have car insurance. It's interest. People, um, we've never said this in history, but... It's okay for stepping on my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, all right, wait, run it back. Run it back. Why, Why, Cap? Why now? Why? Why? Well, here's the thing, white people, and I'm being honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history. Yes, but... officer. I, I was speeding, and I'll, I'll take full responsibility for my actions. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're free, but I'll only take one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes, officer. I completely understand that these businesses don't have insurance. <laughs> As black people, um, we've never said this in history, but um, it's time for us to get reparations. Black what? people. Y'all said that shit every day? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for something I really never heard before. <laughs> the fuck? That was disappointing. It actually ruined our bit. <laughs> It did. We should have kept going. It was so normal. It was like, okay. That shit was much better. <laughs> Nigga said that in the parking lot going to see Cat Williams. <laughs> the fuck are they talking about? He fucking saw the white people like, look he at this. He said this is one thing black people have never said in history. They the crowd said, reparations. It's, it's, <laughs> they should be paying for my ticket in here. Reparations. It's exactly. But something black people have never said in history. It's the time for reparations. Rep the, the oh my crowd God. Said reparations before he did. Is it, <laughs> is it, maybe, the, maybe we're looking at this wrong. What if it's just a bit? He's doing a comedy show, right? Let's finish it. Okay. <laughs> it's the only, the only way we can go from there. Us to get reparations. Black people, uh, it's hard to be honest with you. As black people, um, we've never said this in history, but. There's too much salt on there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ah, that's crazy. This Kool-Aid is too sweet. <laughs> no, I'll take the grilled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it if it's free. <laughs> oh, shit. That's uh, crazy. Um, it's time for us to get reparations. Black people, uh, it's our money, and when do we need it? Yeah. You see that, white people? We didn't even rehearse that. That's how badly black people need yeah, this. Yeah, white people made it first, and y'all just took it. <laughs> Pretty much. That's actually kind of sad. Oh, J.G. Yeah, Wentworth, that ass niggas. <laughs> the fuck? Money, like every one of us needs this. And, and white people, you need it too. You needed to. Aren't you ready to get this racism shit past us? 
Like, no white person in here has ever had a slave a day in your life. Don't you want to get this the fuck off of you? Pay those motherfucking rep. If I didn't have a slave a day in my motherfucking life, then it is off of me. Then it is off Man, of you. I have nothing to do with that, buddy. That made no sense. He Little just, guy. He just fucked his own point. Obliterated it. So pay those motherfucking reveries. Just, just give me money because I'm black. And I get you for expecting a joke because he is a comedian, but it wasn't a joke. Wasn't a joke. It was a demand. For no reason. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and tell a joke. A Make million, me laugh. A millionaire telling everybody who just paid money to see him that white people need to pay them. And, and he goes, we all need this. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I feel perfectly fine. Can rich black Americans get reparations? They, I guess they a, would. If you make a medium. Nah, it, that. He said it's our money. Listen, I feel like if you make over, if you make over 30,000, you don't need, you don't need no reparations. If you really, if you, if you want to go buy black people need reparations, give it to the it's fucking. It's a settlement. So give it to the homeless. It like a settlement. Fuck yeah. I say, I say just give the, uh, the <clears> DNA <throat> tests. Free DNA tests. Mm. Free DNA test. Yeah. Okay. And call their bluff on the whole bullshit about <laughs> it being about not knowing their language. <laughs> we can't trace where we came back from. Bro. How many times do you think about that, bro? If the, Honestly. If they, because a lot of people make that argument, right? Mm. That's a lot of people. That's the crux of their argument. If the government actually offered that to black people, how many black people would actually do it? Do you think? I don't know. If I had to put a number on it, less than half. I would say a very probably small less than percentage. A quarter. Yeah. yeah. Like, we could probably cover that in this room. Because niggas is all talk, bro. They ain't really... Fin- ain't it's really not bad. about that. Yeah. That's why I think even if we gave them money, the people that say they... It wouldn't matter. <clears throat> it wouldn't matter. <clears throat> they either the DNA test, they'll tell you it's rigged because they got to give you the results. I'll be honest. I don't, I don't feel comfortable sending my DNA to some lab. That I don't know what's going on. Well, listen, so I, mean, I wouldn't do it. I think it's very simple. I mean, they, they, it, it's always complaining about, oh, I can't build generational wealth. That's that's one of their things is that black people can't build generational wealth. Well, do you know where that comes from? Do you know what to invest in? What things you can buy that appreciate with time that you could pass down to your lineage? That's your that's your like that's what you can do as an American. So yeah. I, build a company started from scratch. I mean, you don't even have to do that. If you just get a good job that pays you well, and you can make smart moves with your money, you'll be all right. Even that, yeah. So, yeah. I mean. And kind of to add to the whole, like, the black business thing that we were having last week, the conversation, I think there's a lot of people, and it's not just a black thing, but I think it's mostly black people, that go into uh, starting a business with the mentality of, um, I just don't want to work for nobody. You know what I mean? But isn't and, that isn't that an entrepreneurial like you should have that? Kind no, of- no, no. Because I think when they say that, they mean the work aspect of it. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, you like still got to work. Used to, it's actually it's more, more stressful. <laughs> it's more work. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think there's, I think a lot of a lot of people go, black people specifically, go into businesses with that mentality, and it's like you gotta, and that's where we get into the thing of the service industry and customer service and all that. If you're going in with that mentality, you're going in with a victimhood mentality that your bosses weren't treating you right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it all started with micromanaging. Yeah. And sometimes you're right, but at the same time, it's like you got to make the best of it because you're paid to be there. So that's that's part of the job sometimes yeah. is improvising. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, uh, as far as Cat Williams and this, bla- this reparations thing, it's, it's like delusional. You've never said that before. You think this is a, a spicy take? I think that was a joke. That was part of the bit. I have to believe that was part of the bit. And they cut it? No, no. I mean, I think the bit was, here is something that black people have never said before. And then I'm going to say something that we always, we always say. But I he think didn't that was wait for like a punchline like laugh. Is it a comedic time in all for you? I think nobody laughed at it, so it was all for everybody. Because they all were like, you know that. Yeah, like we... This isn't shocking, Cat. Go outside sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Cat Williams. I don't know. He's the goat what to some goof. people. What a fucking goof. 